Ha, YouTube model community, cassette tape community, Beach Boys fans, random people on the internet, my name is Giggins, and we're here today to talk about the Beach Boys on cassette tape. Uh, in fact, my personal cassette tape collection of the Beach Boys that I've been collecting since I was a kid back in the 90s. Um, I still have my original tapes, almost all of my original tapes of anything that I had, any band um, from back in the day. I just never got rid of them. I thought they were cool and I enjoyed them at the time. And, uh, you know, even as formats were changing and, uh, you know, I was starting to buy more CDs and then eventually, you know, iPods and stuff came out. But for the most part, I've kept everything I've had my whole life. I never thought about getting rid of it just because I wasn't, like, super into playing it anymore. Because I felt like there might be a time where I would want to play it again or I just enjoyed looking at it because it was cool or it reminded me of being a kid. And in that state, um... The Beach Boys on cassette, I feel, were such a big part of my childhood. Um, especially tapes like the 20 Good Vibrations Greatest Hits that came out in the mid-90s. Um, and a couple tapes that my mom had and stuff we bought at stores. So, I wanted to go over my collection with you guys just to kind of show it off. I don't really make videos like this where I show off like a collection of something. But I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. Something different, you know, kind of break it up a little bit. And, um, because if there's, if there's one thing the Beach Boys and Capitol were good at, it was putting a bajillion compilations out over the last 40 years of any kind of combination of songs you can imagine. And, uh, some of these are from different countries. Um, there's some solo stuff mixed in here. And then I'll show, at the very end of this video, I'll show the collection that I had as a kid that I loved. And, uh, they were, they were mine and I still have. But everything else has been picked up at record stores, uh, Goodwills. Uh, thrift shops, tag sales, you know, wherever, wherever I was at. So, um, I'm just gonna just jump right into this. It's kind of all over the map because that's just how they did it. But we've got two different copies of the Beach Boys Greatest Hits Volume One. Um, the biggest difference is that I think this is a Columbia Record House version uh, with the Matrix having a zero five zero two five four five. This one's just two five four five. Um, both have the same spine, just with alternate uh, call letters on it, call numbers rather, and the tapes themselves are actually different. Um, the this one has the oval capital logo on it, and then this one has the mid '70s, what they call the round C logo, down at the bottom there. Um, so it is kind of cool, you know. We got different. Um, just different takes on the same album. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot up and get close to you guys here. It's okay. It's just tapes. Um, yeah. So these look kind of different, and even the font is a little different. So I'm figuring one is. I think this one is the Columbia Record House because it mentions Columbia House in the back. Remember that? Remember being signed up for Columbia Record House to get like, you know, a hundred tapes for a dollar, and then remember trying to leave the Columbia Record House? You couldn't. You just couldn't. Um, after that, we got Best of the Beach Boys Volume 2, which I believe is a early 80s issue. Um, a little bit dusty there. Um, it's a capital reissue. That's, you know, that's what the jacket says, but it's got a barcode, and barcodes weren't really a thing until the late 70s, early 80s. Um, but, you know, your standard oval-shaped capital logo. That's in pretty good shape, actually. And, uh, I've always liked that cover. I remember a friend of mine had this on record when I was a kid. And um, I just loved looking at that cover picture. I thought that was cool. So that takes care of those. Um, these were interesting. I think they're the exact same cassette. And I think they're both from Australia. But uh, 22 more Sun and Surf hits the Beach Boys on Sound Value Records, which, uh, you know, probably just some cheapo label somewhere. But I, it's from 1974, it looks like. Um, I love the song selection on this thing. I mean, side one has Catch a Wave, and then the next song is Heroes and Villains. Yeah. Uh, it was like someone just got drunk one night and said, I, I got, I got it. I, I know, I know it, I know it. Okay, this is the track list. It's, it's, it's good. It's a good, it's a good track list. Heroes and Villains, man. Cat, catch a Wave, Okay. T together, T two of two together. That I'm really drunk. That's probably what happened. But I mean, 
there are some really good songs on here. I mean, it opens with Breakaway, which I think is a great choice to open with. Um, Breakaway, Girl Don't Tell Me, Beach Road to Your School, Girls on the Beach, 409, Walk to the Sun, Catch a Wave, Heroes and Villains, God Only Knows, How She Boogalooed It, and then Mama Says. That's cool. Uh, side 2 is equally as weird. Surfing, and the next song is Friends, and then Hawaii, and then Caroline No, uh, Wild Honey, Here Today, Bluebirds Over the Mountain, and then All Summer Long, You're So Good to Me, Shut Down, and When I Grow Up to Be a Man. Or as it's on here, When I Grow Up. So, let's see what the tapes look like here. I think they both have the same sort of papery style here. Yeah, they got the old paper sticker on there. And it's even got a... Uh, a little booklet with, well, not really a book, it's just a jacket. It's a J card, but it's got the credits for who wrote what. That's kind of cool. Yeah, eh, pretty decent shape. But yeah, the call, the matrix letters look exactly the same. So, yeah, that's just the same tape. This is a copy of Beach Boys concert, which is pretty sweet. I remember finding this at a antique store one time, about five or six years ago. Um, and it's an original. It's on Brother Records Reprise, which is super cool to see that tiny little, you see that? It's going to focus. That tiny little uh, logo for Brother Records is really cool. But I mean, this is just such a good album. I mean, that live album is just awesome. You know, Sail on Sailor, Sleep John B, The Traitor, You Still Believe in Me, California Girl, Darling, Funky Pretty, Let the Wind Blow. And it's like, man, here's the back. There's no track listing on the back. Just says Beach Boys in concert. So that's pretty cool to have like an original, uh, you know, Brother Records, Reprise Records cassette. I really like that. Following which we have uh, three copies of End This Summer. Actually, probably more than that. I'm actually not sure where my original copies of End This Summer went. Huh. Because I don't think either of these are that. No, they're not. Anyways. Um, just because I'm a collector. Uh, two copies of Endless Summer, both from 1974, but the boxes are different. Uh, one's got kind of like a graded waffle style. You can't really see it. Well, let's see a little bit there. And this one's just like a matte, flat finish. Um, you know, equivalent to two cassettes. Hey, look, there's the record down there, too. This album has always meant so much to me, and this cassette in particular has always meant so much to me. Um, your standard capital oval there. Uh, this was like my introduction to the Beach Boys when I was a kid, and so, you know, seeing it on tape, uh, particularly on tape, uh, totally brings me back and just reminds me of good times getting into the Beach Boys. And then the record, you know, my parents had the record too, so that was cool to see the poster inside and look at the big cover. Um, this, is a, this is a cool album to cover to look at. Uh, this is a later pressing of it. I think this is from the late mid to late 80s, I think 1987 this one came out, and they tacked on uh, Good Vibrations to the very end. So this is a version that my best friend had growing up. Uh, he had this copy of the tape, and I had the older one. And so I remember when we'd play uh, these tapes, I remember hearing all summer long and being like, oh man, the tape's over, and then Good Vibrations comes on. And I was like, what the hell? Like, hey, come on, man. But yeah, this is probably from the late 80s. You know, they moved to the whole black uh, insert in the middle with a, with a clear tape. So, that's kind of cool. Let's do, look at, look at this. So, for some reason in the 70s when they reissued Beach Boys albums, they would either reissue them with different covers, different titles, and then take songs off. I don't know why you would take songs off an album unless you would make it like super budget label. But, um, this is the Beach Boys, California Girls. Or as it's originally known, summer days and summer nights, 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 nights. But it's um, yeah, it's missing a couple of songs. It's missing a handful. But uh, girl from New York City, then I kissed her. Salt Lake City, girl don't tell me, help me, Rhonda. California girls, let them run wild. You're so good to me. Summer means new love and your dreams come true. So, yeah, standard tape. This is probably from the mid '70s. I put it around '75. Uh, maybe a little later. It's got the barcode on the side. This is cool. Uh, the Beach Boys American Summer Twin Pack. And same deal. You know, it just says American Summer Beach Boys on the back. Uh, this is from 1975. It's got the capital C logo right there. And um, 
Interesting track list on this. For the most part, it's all pre-66. Uh, well, Breakaway's on here. That's weird. Okay, so like every song on here is pre-66 beyond besides Breakaway. Um, that's really weird. Yeah, Dance, 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 Breakaway, Long Tall Texan, Little Girl I Once Knew, And New Dreams Come True, Spirit of America, Pom Pom Playgirl, Summer Means New Love. So there's some uh, not super well-known songs on this tape. So... For that reason, that's pretty cool. And this was issued on LP as well. So, that's pretty common to find. Uh, Beach Boys, 1985, self-titled album. This is an original. Nothing too much to write home about here. The old Caribou Ranch logo up there. Uh, this has a bit of a booklet, mostly just the fact that it's recorded with a drum machine. And it says that like over and over again. Still cruising after all these years. There you go. There's a copy of Still Cruising. Come on, let's cruise. We got nothing to lose. Come on, let's cruise. We got nothing to lose. Come on, let's cruise. Baby, come on. Still cruising after all these years. So, that's what that looks like. There we go. Um, this actually does have a bit of a booklet on the inside. Let me, let me take this thing out here. So it folds out. It's got the words, uh, but it's kind of got like a... Uh, like a little story that the, hey, remember the Beach Boys? Hey, remember they wrote surf songs and they wrote about cars too? Yeah, let's talk about that a million times. And on the inside, it's got the words, just in case you forgot what those words were over the last hundred years. Um, Kokomo's on this too. So, it's got that going for it. If you didn't have Kokomo before, you had it then. And then, ah, it's good to see you again, old friend. Summer in paradise, oh man. Let's just crack this thing open here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it even smells new. It smells unplayed. Wow, look at that thing. Crazy. Crazy tape, man. But I do, I think the cover art's really cool. Um, and the jacket itself is pretty sweet. You know, the way it folds out is super cool. Um, and it doesn't have the words on here, but it, well, it's got the words for Summer in Paradise on here. But, yeah. This is the only format I own it. <laughs> breaking the only format I have of this one. Um, yeah, this is the only format I have this album in. Um, I've never seen it on CD, and of course it was never issued on record, but um, I'd love to find a CD copy of it someday. I know they exist online, I just don't buy a whole lot of music online, because I'm that guy. Um, let's, do, let's do a couple of these Christmas ones. Um, super common. Beach Boys Christmas tapes, you know, when I was a kid, you'd see these things at gas stations all the time, um, constantly at, like, Cal stores like Caldors, I don't know if you guys remember Caldors or Bradley's, um, Woolworth's, apparently I was born in 1946, but, um, you'd find these tapes everywhere, there were so many budget line Beach Boys tapes when I was a kid, it was impossible to keep up, and so, you know, both of these tapes feature slightly different track lists, um, like one of them has Merry Christmas Baby, one of them has... Um, Auld Lang Syne. So having both is kind of cool because you can alternate and get you know a mix of both tapes. Uh, this has someone's address on the back from some stickers. So I'm not going to show that, but uh, I'll show you the inside of this one because why not? Beach Boys Christmas. It's got a little logo of some like guy with bread or something. What the hell is he doing? I think he's like kneading bread, or maybe it's an elf making a toy. Maybe it's an elf making bread. I don't know, guys. What the hell is that thing? Beats me. So that's what the Beach Boys Christmas looks like. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is a single for Love and Mercy. Um, rumor has it Brian drew this album cover, or this, you know, this cover. Um, so that's pretty cool. So how many of you guys have ever seen a single before? Let's be honest. Who's old enough to remember Kasingles? Um... The B side of this thing is he couldn't get his poor old body to move, and uh, executive producer Dr. Eugene Landy. Big pile of nope on that one. Uh, this one's kind of cool, Beach Boys Forever. Another uh, one that was released on on record too. Uh, really, really close to um, Endless Summer, and the fact that all of these songs are on Endless Summer, I think, except for Wouldn't It Be Nice. Um, but yeah, Capital Special Markets, you know, budget line stuff. Uh, speaking of which, another budget line tape, B 
Beach Boys, greatest surfing song. Surf's up, dude. So we got Surfing USA, Little Deuce Coop. That's a, that's about a car. Do you want to dance? You're so good to me. Surfing. Ah, there we go. That's another surf song. Help me, Rhonda. Don't worry, baby. Barbara Ann and All Summer Long? I mean, where's Surfing Safari? Where's, like, most of the Surfing USA album? Greatest surfing songs. The Beach Boys. Uh, I think that actually is a picture of the Beach Boys. I've never actually realized that. That looks like Carl and Denny in the background. This must be like an outtake from the All Summer Long sessions or something. Because if you look closely, I think that's Carl. And that's Denny right behind him. I think. Here's the, uh, here's the tape. It's from 1984. Greatest surfing songs. For a band that cannot get away from the surf image, there are three surf songs on this tape. <laughs> ah! All right. Uh, Brian Wilson. Hey, chair. Brian Wilson just wasn't made for these times. Soundtrack. That's pretty cool. It's actually on a high quality tape. It's on an XR Pro tape. Um, so it should sound pretty decent. It's been a while since I've heard this thing. Actually, it's got some dust on it. That's not good. Uh, the inside's got a little bit of a booklet. Let me show you that. Kind of a little snap into the history of Brian there. So it's got like a little bit of a story. Good shot of him there. And then it's got some old school pictures and some stuff about Brian. So that's cool. I haven't watched that documentary in quite a long time. Um, I remember it being pretty good, but you know maybe I'll put it on again at some point. Um, this tape means a lot to me. This isn't my original copy. I do have the original copy here. Uh, Beach Boys, do it again. And it's a very weird selection. I get around, do it again, fun, 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 this car of mine, Surf and Safari. Side 2, or they call it Program 2, Wendy, California Girls, The Little Girl I Once Knew, and Graduation Day. Um, yeah, this is a kind of a anomaly, I guess. It's kind of a weird set. It's almost like someone had to like fulfill a contract at Capitol that month to be like, well, we haven't put out a tape of Budget Line Beach Boys in a while. I guess we should just do something. Uh, hey, I got 10 songs that I like that are on everything else we've ever released. Let's do that. Oh, this car of mine. Let's put that on there. That'll throw them for a loop. So, this came out in 1984. Um, I probably got this in 1994 when I was a little kid. And um, I vividly remember seeing this at the store and like begging my dad to get this tape for me. So much so that as we went home, I went home that day and drew a picture of the album cover because it was ingrained in my head. Um, I just, I loved this picture. I loved the text. I loved everything about the way it looked. Something about it was just so damn cool. I liked their shirts. I liked Dennis's like coiffed haircut. Um, I don't know. Something about it just spoke to me. And for years, this was... Uh, one of my most cherished Beach Boys tapes, and it still is. You know, I, I really do love this. It brings back a lot of good memories. Um, you know, there's there's something I've always loved about seeing the spine of a cassette at the store when you're a kid, and seeing the, the cases, they used to stack them in rows. You know, and they would have like these big plastic things, these long plastic uh, holders, and you pull it out of the holder, then they you bring it up and they take it out of the holder. Um, so it was like an experience, it was like a special thing, like you got your tape, like this was yours. You know, you got to put this on your cassette Walkman and enjoy it. Which I still have my original cassette Walkman from 1992 or 3. Um, still works bloody great, you know, I, I don't keep the batteries in it because you never want to do that. And um, I love it, I play it once in a while, sometimes I even put it in my car, you know, and do the aux in and do it that way. Um, so before I show off my original cassette collection of my Beach Boys tapes, I wanted to just, uh, just throw this one out there, man. Yeah, that was a dollar. A dollar for this gem. Look at that. Looking back with love, man. Just, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's a review coming at some point for this thing. Oh, man. Looking back with love. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Best dollar I ever spent in my entire life. Alright, so these next tapes, 
these are the group of tapes that I bought as a kid and I still have and uh, I just I cherish these so much because they were just the introduction to one of my absolute favorite bands uh, ever. So uh, it's the Beach Boys Concert Days tape, which is actually a combination of their live album from 64 and then the the 68 concert that has been repressed a million times. You know, Beach Boys Live in London or whatever you call it, Beach Boys 69, all that stuff. Um, uh, my brother and I used to play the hell out of this tape when we were kids, and I still love it. I think it's a great tape. Uh, Darlin', Good Vibrations, Sloop John B, Do It Again, Little Old Lady from Pasadena, Papa Oo Mau Mau, The Wanderer, Hawaii, Johnny B. Good. So I think basically side one is from the Live in London album, and side two is the concert, uh, live, the in concert, whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, Beach Boys, Concert Days. And the lighting on this picture makes Denny look like he's wearing a hat. And for years, I thought he was wearing a hat. But he's not wearing a hat, in fact. Which leads us to this next tape, the actual Beach Boys concert tape. And I remember saving up a lot of allowances to get this thing when I was a kid. And uh, I still have it in great shape. Because I always took care of my stuff. If I saved up money for something as a kid, I made damn sure I took care of it. Um... But I always thought this was so cool to fold out and see the actual cover. I used to love looking at this thing. And it's got the original liner notes from the actual booklet, you know, from the record. So this was a really, really cool uh, tape to get as a kid. And, you know, I, I still think it's cool. Just a fun, fun thing to have. Um, this is actually my mom's from when, from back in the early 70s, uh, an original Brother Records Pet Sounds, Carl and the Passions. So, this isn't the original case, though. I'm not sure what happened to the original case. It must have gotten broken over the years. But, the original paper on this thing. Super cool. And, um, yeah. Side one is Pet Sounds, and side two is Carl and the Passions. Which I think is funny. They put their older album as side one, uh, and side two is their current one. But, whatever. Here's my original copy of Do It Again. So, you already saw that. Made in the USA, this was what, one of our favorite compilations when we were kids. Um, came out in the 80s, 86. And the reason why it's cool is it has a song called Rock and Roll to the Rescue on it. And um, it's also their cover of California Dreamin' is on this thing too. But um, I remember being really into this album uh, because I think Heroes and Villains is on this thing. Yeah, it is. I think this was my first exposure to Heroes and Villains. Um, but, you know, it's also dedicated to, to Danny Wilson. Yeah, I want to say this was the first time I heard Heroes and Villains, which I remember at that time thinking uh, what a bizarre song it was. It still is bizarre. But uh, I remember like being kind of weirded out by it, thinking, like, this is the Beach Boys? Like, I never would have expected that. Uh, I actually recently saw this on... I do own it on CD, I believe. And uh, I just recently saw it on vinyl sealed, and I should have picked it up, but I didn't. You know, sometimes you got to pay the bills, and that sucks. And one of my favorite tapes of all time when I was a kid. This is going to end it right here. Uh, this is a long, bloody video. Beach Boys, Volume 1, uh, 20 Good Vibrations. Good Vibrations! The greatest hits. Uh, I got this through Columbia Record House and just played the hell out of this tape when I was a kid. Very cool. One of my favorite things about the inside of this is it shows their albums. I used to love this kind of stuff. You can see their records, and you got some great pictures of the guys. Um, and I think if you're getting into the Beach Boys as a kid, Beyond Endless Summer, um, this is an excellent, excellent tape to get into. Um, if I can get it back in there. Yeah, so, uh, the only thing it doesn't have on here, I think Don't Worry Baby isn't on here. Yeah, Surfing Safari, Surfing USA, Surfer Girl... Little do scoop, be true to your school, fun, 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 I get around, shut down, dance, 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 do you want to dance? Uh, side two is Help Me Rhonda, California Girls, Barbara Ann, Sloop John V, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Good Vibrations, 409, some reason it's over there, God Only Knows, Catch a Wave, and Kokomo. They love pairing Catch a Wave with a bunch of weird songs apparently, but yeah, uh, I do want this on CD as well. Um, I have the other two other compilations on CD, but not on tape, and I would love to find those, if they even were, I think the second one was pressed on tape, the third one came out in 2000, so probably not, but, um, yeah, this, this tape really brings me back, um, very cool times, so this has been a super long, probably very boring video, but, um, 
that's my tape collection of the Beach Boys anyway. It's always growing. Um, so as of whatever today is, uh, September 2nd, 2017, um, that's what my current tape looks like. Tape collection for the Beach Boys looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I didn't bore the insane crap out of you. Um, if you liked it, let me know because I kind of, now I'm curious to see if I can do more of these videos, if you guys dig it. But if not, tell me your stories about your cassettes with the Beach Boys. I'd love to hear them. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Beach Boys on cassettes uh, with me, Gigan. So until next time, until the next video, have a good one.